What is up guys, Brad back on the channel with a brand new video and for the first time in a very long time I'm going to be making a preview on a game that we are actually going to be able to go and watch in a stadium, in real life, with no restrictions in place. It's mental, I can't believe it. So tomorrow afternoon at 1pm we kick off over at Hillsborough and Sheffield Wednesday in the Carabao Cup. Um... Quite fitting that we've got Wednesday, you know, there's always been a little bit of a, you know, Yorkshire rivalry there, if you will, obviously with the playoffs and, you know, just the fact that we're Yorkshire teams in general, there's always been a bit of a, um, not as much of a rivalry, but it's a Yorkshire derby at the end of the day, isn't it? So it's a, it's, um, it's a game that you like to see. Sheffield Wednesday got relegated last year, so didn't expect to play them this season, so quite fortunate that we've got them in the cup um, in order to in order to play them. So to crack on, in all honesty, I, uh, I'm i not overconfident for this game, which isn't great, but I, I try to be, but I can't be. And there's about three or four reasons for that. Number one, it's the Carabao Cup, so you have to throw all logic of, you know, leagues and positionings out the window because anyone can beat anyone in that cup. And same for the FA as well, the FA Cup. Number two, we don't usually play too well against Wednesday. Regardless of how they're doing, we usually make it hard for ourselves and uh, and play bad against them. Um, number three, the completely different sides into previous years and to what we've seen. If you look at our team now from the last time we've seen one uh, in the ground, it's or the last time we played Wednesday, it's you know it's a, two very different sides, uh, respectively. And the two other reasons have just come to my head, actually. Number one, it's an away game and our away form is questionable at times. And the final reason, and probably the most important, we've not won a Carabao Cup game, um, I want to say, in over a thousand days. It's not ideal, to be totally honest, but... Oh, well. Um, but I say I'm not overconfident. I still think we'll win. I still think we'll win. I still think we've we've made some quality signings where we can. Um, I think it's going to be weird to to be back in the ground, you know, chanting, um, just feeling that connection with the rest of the fan base. It's it's weird. It's it's a feeling that we've all not felt in a long time. It's going to be brilliant. Um, furthermore, I want to go to Derby the week after because I'm I've booked to go to that game now, so I will be at Pride Park, uh, supporting the lads over there again. So yeah, um. I'm going to go with a 1-0 town win. I think it's going to be a tough game, actually, but I'm going to go with a 1-0 town win. And I'm going to back... I'm going to back Jordan Rhodes to score. I'll be honest, this wasn't going to be a long video by any sort of stretch. I've just sort of given a score prediction and a preview. But to finish off, I'll give my predicted lineup. Um, I think he's going to go with Nichols in goal. Turn it right back, I know, will probably be definite. Probably be a definite. <laughs> kind of cancels it out. I, I think that'll be a definite. I think he's going to go with Colwell and uh, Pearson. With Toffolo at left back. Hogg, O'Brien and probably Scott High. With Sarver Thomas out on the left. No, Sarver Thomas out on the right. Jordan Rhodes up top and Josh Caroma. On the left, I think that's probably the best line that we could go go with, um, considering that Pippa, Rowe, and Rolando Aaron's are all suffering minor injuries at the minute, along with Danny Grant. So I think that'd be a good lineup, and I think that's also probably the the likeliest lineup. Uh, leave a comment down below what you uh, what you think. We've got about you know twenty two hours as of recording and posting for you to get your comments in. So so yeah. So that's all from me in this video, just a quick one. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that supported me throughout the whole, you know, past year and however, where we've not been in grounds. This, the the, uh, the content I've had to put up on here, it wasn't easy, it was very temperamental, but you guys stuck by me and watched the content regardless and supported me and I'll never forget that uh, uh, and I'll always be grateful. And uh, speaking of content, um, fan cams will be debuted tomorrow. I've got the graphics ready. I've got the um, I've got everything ready. I've got a guest lined up to 
to be the first one uh, is quite familiar to a lot of people on the platform so you can guess who that'll be uh, I have said to a couple of people if they find me in the ground after the game and I've got spare time um, then then I'm happy to do more but obviously people will say that they'll do it and then forget and that's just natural as it comes but if you find me in the ground and you want to do one I've not really said definite to anyone except one so if you find me in the ground and you say to me oh, can I do a fan cam be more than welcome to get you on the channel and get your opinions heard uh, that's what I want to do for as many people in the fan base who will uh, who feel free to do it and you know who are happy to do it so anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you for all my support and I will be seeing you guys over at Hillsborough tomorrow. Over here.